Dr. Dre put us on his show, right? Mm. Nigga, we did Got Beef in New York. I think it was in New York. We came out on his set. So Dre start um, telling us, hey, you going to come out the liquor store at, the, on, at this point. He start organizing shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he made it to a way to where we was going to come out on his set. That shit would have been dope as fuck. But it got took off the show. You know what I'm saying? But we did that like two in, in New York and then another. Why did uh, get took off the show? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas probably like, I don't know. Niggas oh, probably was that, like. That, that mysterious shit that we was talking about earlier. Yeah, like, yeah, it was a little bro. mysterious. Yeah. It happens, shit, man. I be yeah, wondering sometimes, like, it's certain shit. Like, I see a big-ass concert happen in Inglewood, right? Yeah. And Mac-10 ain't nowhere on the motherfucker. I be wondering, like, I wonder why that nigga ain't on that show. That he from Inglewood. Yeah. That would be like a motherfucker having some big-ass San Diego and you not on the mother. It's just certain that makes sense. Yeah. Then I be wondering why they don't with eight like they should. Mm -hmm. And I just be wondering if it be niggas behind the scenes just doing a little hating that. You you'll best believe it. That ain't even no secret. That's you best believe it. That's uh yeah, that's, hey, that's come on, yeah. real talk. It's like you know the niggas that's the, the authentic. Me and my nigga, me and my nigga J O can't get a mother. Get a I can't break. get five you minutes know, on the know show, what? my I'll nigga. On, bro. I be seeing way less caliber, you know. People Speak on names. it, my nigga. Come on, you know man. What I'm saying like Real way talk. less caliber catalogs, way less caliber performances. You know what I mean? Like they don't even have a stage presence. Cause it ain't like you ain't got the records, my nigga. It, not even just the records, nigga. I rock shit. I'm a yeah. I, I'm a performer, my nigga. I I rock shit. You know what I mean? So. I mean, it's niggas like, have the records. It's just like, it's I like, mean, and it's I, in a nutshell. Like yeah, it's I haters, way it's less, haters, way man. Just, just straight up, man. On every show, every year, every it's year. Just, it's know, just man. haters, man. But, um, it's every show. When it comes to that type of shit, the only way to, out of that to solve that shit is make a way for your self. You know what I mean? True and indeed. That's what we're doing right now, making a way for ourselves because uh, uh, waiting on anything else is uncivilized, you know what I mean? Because it'll never happen if you're waiting for the next month, especially niggas that don't want to see you there. You know what I mean? A lot of these niggas never really um, cut uh, cut from that cloth that they rapping about, you know what I mean? So when you ain't got niggas around like me, it do make you look like you the mother you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, I'm just trying to push music. I didn't live the, the rough time. Yeah, I, I, get, I get you, you on that. You feel what I'm saying? Your, your presence of just being a real straight-up nigga overshadows niggas with People bullshit. People don't like straight-up niggas. And it's they just like... They sit up and lie to them and kiss their heads. Yeah. When I get on stage, I don't got to dance. I don't got to do no funny No. All I got to do is do my little walk around and rock this mother. You know what I'm saying? And that energy alone, some mother don't understand. Like, I, I say simple shit like this. Like, these powers that be and these, these motherfuckers that be pulling strings, they don't even want us to be comfortable just going around in a nice car and, and, and got that bass and that, and that good feeling of music and you got your little joint. They don't even want you to be at peace, my nigga, just if you're at peace with yourself. Motherfuckers want to somehow disturb that. You know what I mean? And that's and that's how that's how I feel like it is. Like, so even with me right now, I had to chill. I had to focus and say, fuck it, let me get back in the gym, let me do my because a lot of these niggas trying to copy me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas that stole my style and shit like that, and some of the top gangster rappers. And I know, nigga, that's me, because when you a writer and you, you do your shit, when somebody steal your shit, it automatically trigger you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When somebody say some shit that you put your heart into, nigga, I probably was up three, four, five o'clock in the morning writing this shit. So when I hear somebody else say it, the style of it, or say some words that I made up, it automatically triggered me. Like, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just take the good good with the bad. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I done had my ups and downs. I done been to the pen twice. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 the last time I went was over some pistol shit that basically, you know, they put a nigga like me in a, in a fucked up situation because the world is crazy. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not going to shoot up no goddamn school or no grocery store or none of that. I'm mm -hmm. not the one you need to be worried about. Right. But... Niggas is out here getting popped by the police every day and 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 and, and just mass shootings. You might come shoot up the church when I'm trying to go pray. You know what I mean? That's real shit. So so I'm just trying to protect my mother self. But now you put me in a situation where I'm a felon with a firearm. You know what I mean? So now it's like 
I got to think twice if you pull me over and I got a pistol to where, do I want this nigga to take me to jail for the next 10 years of my life mm -hmm. because I'm a felon with a firearm? Or, fuck it, cuz, I'm a whole court in the street. Because that, now that's the, they don't understand by making laws like that, you put motherfuckers in, that, in, a, in a pretzel to where they got to make a decision. Like, do I really want to do 10 years or am I going to blow this nigga brains out and just the whole court in the street? Because I can lose my life in this 10 years behind bars. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I might not make it back home. I might not make it to even go to the pen. I might die in a county jail waiting to go to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? So what the f I might as well take the gamble right here. Yeah. Kid. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I, I definitely, man, feel like it's a conspiracy against real niggas in this shit, dog. Real shit. Even with the podcast shit, dog. Like, I see certain little shit like, we was the first ones doing the shit that we do. The whole format. I see a whole bunch of other people, these white boys, stay stealing our shit. Mm -hmm. And I don't got no issue with them. They ain't never done nothing to me, but they do steal shit. Yeah. They don't there talking to any nigga. That, and then they find the most ignorant niggas they can to interview, right? Exactly. And um, it don't be certain celebrities. You know, eight don't got a certain niggas, and it's always we a C mm -hmm. over this. But you will look up and see niggas over there fucking with New York niggas and no doubt. this and that. And it's like, we stay paying homage to niggas. And then I know it was a time where I was worried about ruffling feathers with certain niggas. Now I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Them niggas not doing a damn thing for me. No way. Straight up. It's exactly. not like they come over to support niggas. So if it's fuck me, fuck them too. Real shit. And y'all shit gonna just keep keep elevating and elevating if you do it the way y'all do it. Make your own mark. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather, to be honest with you, I'd rather sit down with real niggas like Straight up. niggas that's my partners. Shit. Man, shit, come sit down. Yeah. Come sit down. You know, shout out to the homie Kato. I'd rather have Kato on this motherfucker real every shit. week. You know what? I got a real motherfucker <laughs> on here than the real motherfucker shit. that's like behind my back trying to shut some shit down, you know? Yeah. Be shysty or scheme. Yeah, trying man. to shut yeah, some man. shit down, man. But niggas just, that do that every, every day, all day, man. Like a motherfucker. You, you know, we was talking about that, man, that this industry is very, very strange, dog. Like real I was shit. telling, I was telling eight a few weeks ago about a party mm -hmm. that I went to. Yeah. Me and the homie had to kind of crawl out the little cellar windows and shit. Yeah. They're doing some weird shit. You know, after a while, it's like after a while, them little plates, Trades start getting passed around and, shit. and niggas start yeah. doing shit. Then you yeah. see this nigga over here with this nigga over here. And yeah. it's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I'm hallucinating. They want you, they want y'all to put on some of them vanilla masks or some of them masks and walk around naked in the room. What the fuck? <laughs> them nigga nigga vanilla masks. Hell yeah, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> I ain't fucking with it. I'm out. Man. Yeah, they want a nigga put on one of them, them old fucking masquerade ball masks. Oh, yeah. Well, walk around in the red. Walk around in the red. Or your whole side of your ass, face. Asshole decking up under that Like you in uh, eyes wide shut <laughs> looking ass nigga. Been willing to sell my soul. <laughs> <laughs> eyes <laughs> wide shut looking ass nigga. Yeah, yeah and I think some oh, people get fuck. the premise of selling your soul. Yeah. I think some people, um, when they think of people selling their soul, they think it's just like some satanic or demonic shit. No, it's the most little basic shit. Yeah. If you if you go let another man do anything to you, touch on you, or do anything <laughs> like that, <laughs> you selling your soul. Anything you do is beyond your principles. Anything you do is your principles as a yeah, man. Yeah, you no selling doubt. your fucking soul, dog. Why, why it gotta be? <laughs> why it gotta be a man touch shit on you? Yeah, why I gotta be a man touch shit on you? niggas on all kind of weird shit, dog. <laughs> it's it's niggas that want to sit. Niggas it's still. niggas that want you to knock that girl down or for you to watch. So they can watch and shit like that, dog. Some of them parties still. You been in one of the parties. I escaped from one of them motherfuckers, dog. You escaped from one? I escaped from one, dog. I see why you had to leave. I see why you had to leave. I see why you took the podcast from the house in the Hollywood Hills, huh? They was doing some weird shit. Oh, no, dog. No, they wasn't on no weird shit. My nigga hey, Kato was over with Hollywood me. Hills. You know what's crazy, man? The, the way that shit work, it's like people, the the average like person, the average person, don't believe none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, though. I didn't believe so, till I saw it myself. The, the average person love their favorite celebrity. You what feel you, me? What you go back so, still? They yeah, not going. They not going go back to uh, another Hollywood Hills. They not going to ever fathom mm. what. What about none of that shit? Oh, okay. niggas believe these niggas are superheroes. Yeah, so it'll never register with them. And mm. as long as that's the, as long as that's the fact, they don't give a fuck who knows what because they have enough people that's so stupid that they'll never know how it works. They don't give a fuck about 
who knows or who you never. They got this shit so locked down. They don't give a fuck. They Man. like how they did <laughs> they, 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 they had your ass thinking you a crackhead before you make it back. I'm telling you, dog. America. Some of these niggas that you see out here, like what's the one little homie, the actor that don't lost his mind? He be on there talking crazy. Orlando Brown. Orlando. I'ma tell yeah. you, dog. It's niggas out here that don't seen some shit and they want to paint these niggas as being crazy. These niggas ain't crazy. They telling the motherfucking truth, dog. These niggas is weirdos. That motherfucker crazy because I seen him talking about on Pyro, blood. Now, nah, nigga, if you don't knock it off. <laughs> like some, some niggas don't throw it. I'm going to tell you, dog, it used to be a thing, dog. I heard up in the Bay that a bunch of them It makes niggas, a lot of sense, though, sometimes. It's like all of them do. I some don't niggas know. don't got to slip the Mickey, though, my nigga. Some yeah. niggas don't got a bad back. That's why I don't smoke weed after niggas, dog. I don't do none of that shit. I don't yeah. want, I want whatever I'm, I, whatever I take is going to be of my own accord. You ain't going to sneak no shit up on me. They be putting fentanyl in every motherfucking thing anyway. You don't know Hell what yeah. the fuck is going on. You don't know what the fuck is going to go on, bad dog. Batch. Hey, man, you know one thing, and I'm trying to stay away from the controversial shit, but niggas going to be like, why you ain't asking this? <clears throat> you get a you, bad batch. You was the first nigga I seen, really, and you can't make Jay early, dog. Oh, is he a blood? Is he crip? I socked that in his big ass lips. I said, damn, Jay, I was really out there trying to mask the motherfuckers on this microphone. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> True up, Trude up was crazy because it came out on Motown, the label Motown. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it got really a lot of buzz, and it was getting a lot of radio play. And then, um, not to take nothing away from Jay Z, we cool now or whatever. But um, the song was it was like back then I was going against the <coughs> machine of Def Jam mm. and be. Uh, the, like I just thought it was some battle shit. I just wanted to rap. I ain't want no harm to come to the nigga or nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was like the machine of Def Jam was calling them labels. Like if you play that record again, they were, we ain't doing the summer jam type of shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Or or we gonna pull our artists type of shit. Like it was like the machine. You know what I'm saying? And Trude Up was getting getting ground. And Jay was they was playing that shit damage. in Miami and shit like that. It was starting to get ground, and they pulled that motherfucker. And they stopped the video from playing, like they banned the video from BET. The video looked like a fucking film. Like I was, I remember, um, um, I had homies from '60s with the Lowriders, and and we was in the valley, and and it was a part when the when the uh, video start, nigga, you see me ironing my khakis and shit. This looked like a movie, like, and I remember the uh, van, the bus from uh, San Diego radio station Z90 coming out here. It was like a light light blue van. Mm -hmm. I mean, a light blue uh, tour, like a um, like a city bus looked like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they had this big ass bus come out here, and we were standing on the bus. That shit was off the chain. <laughs> but they banned that video from from you know what I mean from BET. And, and I used to just look at shit like now how they let all kind of gang bang shit on TV. <laughs> Like Pinocchio, we gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic, this is 